Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with some Dollar Tree DIYs. Uh, I am using only essential items that you can purchase at our stores due to our lockdown. So let's get started. For my very first DIY, I will be using a plunger, cutting boards, and a piece of wood. I will also going to use some spray paint and hot glue. So the first thing that I do is I just take everything uh, apart. I took the stick off of the plunger. I unopened my uh, cutting boards, took the stickers off, and just prepped everything. Then once that was all done, I move on to gluing. I was going to use a uh, more of a permanent glue, but it was it dried out on me, so I just moved on to using hot glue. I am building a caddy if you haven't uh, figured that one out yet and um, so, so I'm gluing the plastic one to the piece of wood that I have. So I do the plastic uh, cutting boards on each side of the wood and I do the wooden one in the middle. I would also like to mention that this video is part of a open collaboration uh, called We Are In Lockdown. I am co-hosting this with four lovely ladies and I will have their channels linked in the description box as well as the playlist because we had opened up this collaboration and invited anyone that wishes to join us to join us. So there is going to be a playlist with tons of ideas and we live, I live in Ontario as well as all of my co-hosts and if you do not know Ontario Canada is under lockdown and if you go to a dollar store you can only buy certain things, you can buy everything. So we decided to, well actually Lisa invited us uh, to collaborate together uh, and create things out of um, things that we can buy. So out of essentials. So obviously the kitchen uh, department was available and this time I only went to Dollar Tree, not Dollarama. So as you can see, I cut the toilet paper, uh, not the toilet paper, the plunger stick uh, to size and hot glued it to, to the top as a handle. Then I went outside and I spray painted the whole thing with black spray paint. Just wanted to give you a bit of a closer look, uh, how it looks on all spray painted. Then I went inside and I used one of these chalk markers that I picked up at Dollar Tree a long time ago and just wrote on Barbecue Boss. And this, I think this um, caddy would be a great gift to for Father's Day. As well for those uh, fathers that love to grill I know that my husband loves to grill and he can put all of his seasonings and marinades and anything that he needs um, to grill meat you could also use it to hold all your condiments outside when you are having a barbecue <music> For my next one, some of the garden supplies were still available, so I had picked up this hanging basket um, as well as a 
burner cover, stove burner cover, and some shelf liner in the wood pattern. And I will be making a collage. So the first thing that I did was, as you saw, I removed all the chains off of the hanging basket, and then I measured out uh, the circle to fit on top of the burner co burner cover in this uh, shelf liner. So I wanted to create a wood look. You and then I used my uh, Cricut little tool for getting the bubbles out. Uh, you could probably use the back of the spoon as well. It would work just as as good. And this, this does work in getting all the bubbles out. And then I just trimmed any access that needed to be trimmed. And if I, and then I um, moved on and just cut a strip to go around. So I'd like to mention if you are stopping by for the very first time, my name is Sonia and this is my DIY channel where you'll find DIYs like this as well as furniture upcycles and trash to treasures. So if this is something that you are interested, I would love it if you press the subscribe button and a notification bell and to become part of my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to check out all the other social medias that, you, that I have, which are linked in the description box, as well as my other channels. I really love how well these two fit together. Uh, the basket is a perfect fit to sit on top of this uh, burner cover. Then once I was done with covering the burner cover, I moved on outside because I wanted to spray and paint a couple pieces for the top. I am using a lid from Bath & Body Works Candle as well as this uh, little person... Um, I think it's a bead. I've had it in my crafts, daycare craft stash and I spray paint that with white chalk paint. And once that had completely dried, I brought it inside and I created a top with it by hot gluing the lid first and then the little person thingy uh, bead on top of the lid. And this just created a little tip for the top. I love uh, using cloches in my decor and make sure you tune in back to my home channel in about two weeks where I will be sharing how I'm decorating this cloche. But here's just a, a look on one way how you could decorate it. For my next project, I am using terracotta pots, which were available in the garden section at Dollar Tree, as well as these reuse, um, one-time use pie plates. I think that's what they're called. Uh, and then I am using some um, different shades of gray acrylic paint, as well as white. I am going to paint all the terracotta pots and the pie plates with these colors. Uh, I am going to layer the paint with paint brushes first, uh, just the regular bristle paint brushes, and then I'm going to uh, blend them with a sponge, uh, sponge brush. I am trying to create a galvanized look on these.
I am so excited because it looks like after to today, we are going to be having some wonderful weather coming our way and double digits. And I'm so looking forward to that. Some more uh, spending time outside instead of inside. What is the weather like where you live? I would love to know. I have shared many different techniques how to galvanize um, how to create that galvanized look and I will try and link up all the videos that have that in the description box um, so make sure you check those out if you want to see some other ways that you can create a similar look So I repeat this for the pie plates as well and I'm not going to bore you with the second one. I will just show you how to how I put them together once I am done creating this look for the second one as well. Once the paint had fully dried, I had glue the two pieces together to create a tray, a raised tray. I love the way this turned out. I think it's going to look great in my decor. Well, I hope you enjoy these DIYs and this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And make sure you check out all the hostess channels as well as the playlist, which are linked down below for even more ideas. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.